Lucky you, SHOT Show 2024, James Reeves. This is the first video that we are cutting at the show proper. No one else better to do it with than Ernest Langdon and, of course, Ben from Beretta. You guys have seen them on the channel before. We're talking about a pistol that I have come to appreciate over the years, in part because of Ernest, the PX4. So there's a new version of the PX4 that's going to come out for 2024. I'll stop talking. Ben, if you would give us the rundown of the additions to the PX4 line, please. Back in 2017, in collaboration with Langdon Tactical, we introduced the Compact Carry 1. This is the Compact Carry 2. It's got a lot of the same features, like an extended mag release, stealth single side slide release. It comes with wraparound uh, grip tape in the box, 315 round mags, enhanced sights, lighter double action trigger pull, all the stuff you need on a PX4. The two now includes the bobbed hammer that we developed after that gun launched, as well as these carry release uh, safeties, decock only. Great middle ground gun. We then rolled up to the full size, which has got a lot of the same features as the compact. But importantly, this gun now has a heavy profile barrel. That's new for 2024, significantly tames the recoil on this gun to really highlight how far the PX4 can go in its 20th year since its launch in 2004. And if you want to talk about how far the PX4 can go, no one pushes it further than Ernest right here. So you guys have seen my videos from Langdon Tactical. Again, this was a pistol, the PX4, where Bill, a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. sends me one of yours. Of course, everybody knows you. you know, I mean, you're, you're a celebrity in the gun industry. <laughs> Arguably, just generally a celebrity. I mean, I would say, I would say. Outside Ernest. of the little pond of the gun industry, <laughs> I, nobody knows who I am. Oh, that's not true, <laughs> but we won't debate it. So I, Bill sends me a PX4, the one that you guys work with, and I was like, oh my God, how have I not shot this gun before? And now you guys are going to be taking these new models and working your magic to them, right? Correct. Yeah, we've got a ton of things that we're doing uh, into the gun. I'm going to say 2024 is going to be the year of the PX4 uh, because not only do we have the Compact Carry 2 that comes with new standard features and the GSD I'm super excited about because this gun, the, I cannot understate the value of that heavy barrel and how much of a difference it makes and how that gun recoils. But on top of all of that, as we have been doing for years, we still have our super low RDO that we're putting on all the guns. So now you, if you want one, we can put a red dot directly milled to the slide. Uh, we're not directly milled with our adapter plate that gives you the ability to mount a lot of different red dot optics onto the gun. But on top of that, we have a lot of new cool stuff that we're doing in 2024. The first one we'll talk about is how easy it's going to be to load now because Springer Precision is making a beautiful magwell for the gun. So the magwell um, makes the reloads dramatically better and it's been something people have asked for for a really long time. Gray Guns is building us a beautiful solid steel flat trigger. Dramatically changes the trigger pull, especially in sing single action. And then we have the... Uh, Vantage Point Armory is making a rail mounted compensator for both the full size and the compact. What is cool about this compensator, uh, I'm going to say, is that it basically takes the light and mounts it directly to the compensator. So the profile of the gun doesn't get any bigger from the side. So it's not like a typical rail mounted compensator where then you add a Picatinny rail and then everything gets bigger. This is integrated into it. And so the profile of the gun does not really change. So we've got a dramatic improvement in how the gun shoots and it doesn't change the way the gun functions. So typically a barrel mounted compensator puts more weight on the barrel and that changes the way the gun functions which means you need a different recoil spraying, you can become ammunition sensitive. In this particular case it doesn't make any difference at all. And on the, comp the PX4 Compact, this thing shoots like a USPSA up open gun. It's I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Absolutely silly how this thing shoots. So basically now we have a TRL7 sub, and this thing will fit into several holsters on the market. Specifically, we what I'm carrying, a JM Custom Kydex holster. Um, what that does is I can just mount it into a JM Custom Kydex TRL7 sub long holster, and it fits right in there. Now, before we get to the bad news, which is MSRPs, there's one thing, Ben, that we forgot to go over. We have an acronym. This, the, the new PX4, what is it? 
It, uh, the full size is the GSD, that's for G, which is our decock only model, SD for special duty, and of course it's a throwback and tip of the hat to the classic 92 GSD from back in the day. Are, are these going to be replacements for the current PX4s or are these additions to the line? Uh, the GSD is an addition to the line. The Compact Carry 2 is of course a replacement for the Compact Carry 1. Now we need to know, of course, the two magic questions, price, release date. MSRP on these guns are going to be $875 for both. Um, the commercial version is going to be available shipping out to dealers mid-February. And Langdon Tactical... We're taking orders right now. We launched it today, okay? Uh, and we have um, several hundred in process as we speak. We're quoting like six weeks delivery uh -huh. for full house guns, um, and we should be able, to, we'll be able to do several, probably close to 300 within six weeks. Oh, wow. Okay. And how much are these going to cost? Well, it just depends on where yeah. you want to go. I mean, MSRP, <laughs> what, what did we say MSRP? Yeah, like 875 and then we start tacking on it. You just do a trigger job, it's going to be right at $1,000. Mm -hmm. You start adding on MP3 and RDO cuts, we start creeping up to 1500 If you want a full house gun with the optic and the light and the compensator and DLC slide and a flat trigger and a magwell and all the thing, it's about a $2,500 gun. Ernest, is this the best polymer frame handgun on the market? I think it is, by, <laughs> by orders of magnitude, this thing. And when you shoot it, that's what a lot of people are like, oh, I don't know. And then they shoot it and they go, they call me bad, bad names. I've done a, a lot of my friends where they like, okay, there's your Glock 19. Here's my PX4 compact <laughs> carry gun. Shoot them side by side and they put the gun down and go, you're an asshole. <laughs> You've made me a believer. And guys, I believe that you're really going to love SHOT Show 2024 coverage. So make sure to subscribe to TFB TV Showtime. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more from Vegas.